task at hand today is to change the oil on my LP15. This is the uh, Kohler Command Pro 25 horsepower engine. The two cylinder hydraulic lifters, um, so there's no valve adjustment, which is nice. But uh, I haven't seen any videos on just a routine oil change, inspection on the air filter, the spark plug should be fine. Um, the air filter I'm really concerned about because the amount of dust that's created with this machine is incredible. And then after that, we are going to mill this because I have a job coming up next week. Um, I can't really tell. I, a job next week before the mill, but I uh, can't really tell, but this thing is huge. It's huge. Obviously, you can see it hanging off the end there, so I'm going to have to limb that a little bit um, after I move it over a little. But this thing is very difficult for me to move around without a second person, even with the baby over there. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll get started here. It's not going to be much commentary. I don't think. Sorry about the lighting not have a wrench, oil filter wrench, so a large pair of channel locks, which hopefully will work, if not, just have a pipe wrench, yeah, this, this is just, I warmed up the machine already, it is pretty cool. For oil, try to lower it so that the hose can. Uh, I don't know why I did it this way. This is so uncomfortable. With all the space in the world, I decided to work with the smaller space. In here, there's a nut, which is part of the barb fitting that goes in here. The distance from your nut to this fitting is very little. You can't really get a crescent wrench on this because this part of the tool is too wide. So Erwin makes these nice vice grip. Present, maybe I don't know, but once you set it and the teeth, to get into tight spaces. So something happened with the audio, um, not really sure, but anyway, just doing a little voice over here. Um, as you can see, I'm getting ready to change the oil, and whenever I do change the oil on anything, I always mark it with a Sharpie. The date that you change the oil, mileage, hours, whatever you got, you know, whatever information that you can use for the next time. Um, it's just really helpful. Unfortunately, this unit doesn't come with an hour meter. Yeah, I put my initials on it. I just force a habit. <laughs> um, and I think I'm putting a note on there saying it's the first oil change. So anyway, um, it's just a good idea to do that. This thing is awesome. It's a lifesaver. In some, in a lot of instances, it's called the form of funnel. Um, it's one of those as seen on TVs or something like that. But uh, you can basically mold it into whatever shape you want. And you'll see here in a second that uh, that space where the oil filter is, it's tight. So 
put the funnel there and you can direct the oil into your receptacle. Previously we would use this um, empty quart, cut open the top or the side and then shove that under. And here you can see it. So it's great. It uh, prevents a mess. I mean, look at that. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, it's helpful. You know, it's 20 bucks. I got the larger one because why not? <laughs> and uh, the oil is just going right into the uh, into my catch can. Um, I think I do end up making a little bit of a mess, but it wasn't terrible. Um, yeah, so I'm taking it. Uh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, dummy. You spilled. <laughs> Um, yeah, again, engineers, man, I'm not sure. That's the part number. It's the same as any, uh, air cooled two cylinder Kohler. Um, we use this, use them for our generators at work. So I have ample supply. I always put in a little bit of oil into the, um, filter and then coat it with a little bit of oil there. It just seems to help. I don't know, I've been doing that for 20 plus years, so probably don't have to. Look at this air filter. It's disgusting. I knew this was gonna be an issue, but it's supposed to be that color. <laughs> Look how much sawdust. Look at that. So anyway, I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I was afraid of it. But uh, I knocked it all off, the dust, it came off pretty easily. But I have those uh, pre-filters at work, so I'll grab one and then keep a couple on hand for the future. But that's probably one of the more important things over the oil, in, in fact. You really don't want any of that getting inside your engine. So that's it after I cleaned it. I just tamped it out you got to be a little careful with it because uh, it's kind of delicate it'll tear very easily so I was being a little very uh, careful and that's it there you got one wing nut on the top holding everything down and then there's a wing nut on the uh, cover as well you don't have to go monkey tight just just snug um, I'm holding the camera here, so it's kind of awkward, but it's it's easy to do this. It's one of the most e easier things, one of the more easier things. Can't talk. Um, yeah, so oil change, filter, air filter, really, those are so easy. There's probably maybe $40 in materials here, uh, maybe 50 if you use mobile one i mean we have 55 gallon drums of 5w30 synthetic which is what we use uh, on our generators and pretty much any lawn equipment is going to take the same the same type of oil